हेलो एवरी वन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन काई स्क्वायर टेस्ट काई स्क्वायर टेस्ट दिस इज द सिंबल ऑफ काई स्क्वायर टेस्ट नाउ द काई स्क्वायर द स्क्वायर ऑफ द डेफिनेशन फर्स्ट आई विल एक्सप्लेन एंड आफ्टर दैट अप्लीकेशन टेस्ट स्टैटिक फार्मूलाज एंड कैरेक्टर कंडीशन वैलिडिटी फॉर काई स्क्वायर टेस्ट आफ्टर दैट प्रॉब्लम आई विल एक्सप्लेन काई स्क्वायर टेस्ट the square of standard the square of a standard normal variable is called chi square variate with one degree of freedom i think everybody know uh, uh, this one x minus mu by sigma is called standard normal variate x minus mu by sigma is called the square of the the square x minus mu by sigma whole square the square of the standard normal variable is called chi square variate with one degrees of freedom what is the degrees of freedom i will explain in the next uh, definition therefore that is chi square is equal to x minus mu by sigma whole square is a chi square distribution variate with one degree of freedom what is degree of freedom i will tell you later in general if chi is the random variable the following uh, variable following the normal distribution with the mean mu and variance sigma then chi square is equal to in general generally i am explaining hmm, chi is a random variable following normal distribution with mean mu and variance sigma then chi square is equal to sigma x minus mu whole square x minus mu by sigma whole square now applications of a chi square distribution where we have to apply this chi square distribution applications of chi square distribution chi square distribution has a large number of applications in statistics they are the first one to test if the hypothetical value of the population variance is sigma square is equal to sigma not square to test the hypothetical value of population variance is sigma square is equal to sigma not square just assuming second one to test the goodness of it whether it is uh, to test the goodness of it the third one to test the independence of attributes the first one is testing the for testing the goodness of it the next one is test the independence of attributes and the last one to combine various probabilities obtained from independent experiments to give a single test of significance to uh, combine various probabilities obtained from independent experiments to give a single test to the significant that is single test of significance for these values only we will use chi square test chi square test static that means chi square test formula chi square is a important chi square is an important non parametric test and it is a powerful test for testing the significance of disc discrepancy between the theory and experiment was given by professor curl pearson in 1900 and it is known as chi square test of goodness of fit it enables us to find the deviation of experimental from theory is just by chance or is it really due to the uh, in adequacy of the theory to fit the observed data now the chi square test is static the test is static that means the chi square test formula chi square is equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to n o i minus capital e i e i capital e i o i observed frequency by e i chi square is equal to sigma i is equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to n o i minus e i whole square by e i follows the chi square distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom with n minus 1 ds degrees of freedom o observed frequency e expected frequency o observed frequency e expected frequency the decision rule very very important the decision rule if chi square less than or equal to chi square alpha of n minus 1 chi square whatever the table value uh, chi square calculated chi square means whatever the calculated value is less than or equal to chi square of table value then we accept h not 
we accept H0. While doing the problem, I will tell you the difference between we accept H0. Otherwise, if the condition is like this, accept H0. If the condition is greater than or equal to, then reject H0. Reject H0. The difference between theory and, obse theory and observations is not significant. What is the meaning of that? The difference between theory and observations is not significant. If you get like this. Conditions for validity of chi-square test. Conditions for validity of chi-square test. First one. Sample size n should be large. Sample size n should be large. The second one. If individual frequencies and uh, individual frequencies are small. Say Y-R-E-I less than 10. Individual frequencies are small. That means observed frequency or expected frequency is less than 10. Then combine neighboring frequencies so that combined frequencies greater than or equal to 10 you will get. Greater than or equal to 10 you will get. Third one. The number of classes N. The number of classes N should be neither too small nor too large. In general, N lies between 4 and 16. N should be lies between 4 and 16. 4 less than or equal to N less than or equal to 16. First problem. Chi-square test, first problem. I will read the question. After that, I will explain the sum. The question is, I am reading the question. I listen very much carefully. Assume that air ticket reservations from Delhi to Gulf are uniformly distributed during all days in the winter season. To determine whether it is uniform, we have to select a random sample for reservation lists for 10 days. The following information is drawn from the list. The following information is taken out. The, what is that information? We will see. Distribution of actual number of reservations. This is the information drawn from that list. The information is distribution of actual number of reservation. Serial number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Number of reservations. First day 65 reservations. Second day 80. Third day 100. Fourth day 98. 75. 80. 82. 70. 60. 90. Now what we have to do? Test the validity of assumption using chi-square test. Test the validity of assumption using chi-square test. This is the given question. Now, null hypothesis H0. By using the given one, how to write the null hypothesis? I will tell you. Solution. Null hypothesis H0 I am writing. Air tickets reservation from Delhi to Gulf are uniformly distributed during all the days in the winter season. Whatever given matter we wrote as assuming. We are assuming uh, air ticket reservation from Delhi to Gulf are uniformly distribute, uh, distributed during all days in the winter season. This is H0. Alternative hypothesis H1. Quite opposite. Whatever H0 is there, quite opposite is alternative hypothesis H1. H1. All ticket reservations are not uniformly distributed during all days of a winter season. Not. Whatever you wrote here, quite opposite is H1. This is like this. H0 and H1 you have to define. After that, given the total number of observations is 800. See? Here serial number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10. O, observed frequency is given. 65, 80, 100, 90, uh, 98, 75, 80, 82, 70, 60, 90. This is O, observed frequency. See here, what we have, we are writing, given that total number of observations, 800 reservations for 10 days. If you add all these things for 10 days, if you add all these values, we will get 800. 800 reservations for 10 days. Expected reservation per day. Expected reservation per day. 800 by 10 is equal to 80. 800 divided by 10 is equal to 80. Given the total number of reservations is 800. How we have got 800? We added all these things. We have got 800. 
Now expected reservation per day is equal to 800 by 10 is equal to 80. Now serial number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, observed frequency, this is given. Expected frequency E is 80. We have got 80, 80, 80, all 80s only. Because expected is 80, we have got. That's why E is always 80. Now, whatever observed frequency, add all a, a, uh, observed frequency, divide it by for 10 days. That's why divide it by 10 is equal to 80. This is expected frequency. Now, this one is a, OI minus EI, OI, expected frequency minus, uh, observed frequency minus expected frequency. This minus this, like this you have to, OI minus EI. OI minus EI whole square. After that, OI minus EI whole square by EI. OI minus EI whole square divided by EI. How much is EI? This is the EI. If you simplify, you will get it. Summation, if you add all these things, sigma, sigma i is equal to 1 to n, y minus ei whole square by ei, summation is equal to 19.725. 19 that means chi square calculated cal, chi square calculated value, how much we have got calculated means we calculated with our hand or with our calculator. Chi square calculated is equal to 19.725. Y minus EI whole square by EI. Summation is equal to 19.725. The calculated. Level of significance always by default. If they specify anything 5% or 1%, you have to take that level of significance. Otherwise, we have to take default 5% level of significance. Here default, the level of significance, LOS, level, therefore the level of significance is equal to alpha is equal to 5% at n minus 1 degrees of freedom. n minus 1, n minus 1 is n is equal to uh, number of uh, observations, n is equal to 10, 10 minus 1 is equal to 9 degrees of freedom. 5% at n minus 1, number of observations, n is equal to, n is equal to 10, number of observations, n is equal to 10, 5% of level of significance, 10 minus 1 is equal to 9 degrees of freedom. If you see the chi-square test uh, for table, table, in that uh, end of the textbook, you have chi-square test table. In that one, 5% level of significance at 9 degrees of freedom. If you see, you will get 16.9. You see the chi-square test table at 5%. 5% means 0 0.05. 5% uh, level of significance, 9 degrees of freedom is equal to 16.9. That is table, chi-square table value. Therefore, uh, this is 16.9. You see the table, you will get 16.9. This is calculated value. This is table value. Now, if you observe these two, chi-square calculated value is greater than chi-square table value. Whenever you get, uh, where, whenever you get chi-square calculated value is greater than chi-square table value, then we reject H0. Remember, just like formula, if you get a calculated chi-square Calculated is greater than chi-square table. We reject H0. If you get chi-square calculated is less than means accept H0. It's quite opposite. If you get chi-square calculated is less than chi-square table. For suppose if you get, you, you we have to accept H0 like that you should write. Here we have got chi-square calculated is greater than chi-square table. Table, therefore we reject H0. Therefore, Air reservations from Delhi to Gulf reject H0 means what? Air reservations from Delhi to Gulf are not reject H0. What we took as H0? H0 what we took H0? H0 as air ticket reservations from Delhi to Gulf are uniformly distributed during all the days in the winter season. We took that one. Reject H0. That means reje we, we, we re rejected. A reservation, what is the meaning of we reject H0 means A reservations from Delhi to Gulf are not uniformly distributed, distributed during all the days of the winter season. Like this you have to do. Now degrees of freedom I told you, no, I will explain degrees of freedom. What is mean by degrees of freedom? The number of independent variates which makes up statistic is known as degrees of freedom and is denoted by 
new this is degrees of freedom this is the goodness of it after that independent of added is problem uh, once i will explain thank you